Welcome to the 1980s. This is not a dance move that they did then, so I don't know why I'm doing it right now. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you don't know who I am, my name is Shaylee, I don't usually look like this, but today we are doing a day in the life of a 1980s housewife. I know nothing about the 80s. Well, I didn't prior to this video. So it was a lot of fun to research. This is also a really awesome collaboration with some really cool moms. Moms that you probably already know here on YouTube, but if you don't know them, let's run through the list really quick. So Brittany from Bits of Paradise is gonna be doing the 1950s. Emily Norris will be doing the 1960s. Alan Quist will be doing the 1970s. I'm doing the 80s, obviously. And my good friend Ariana Fletter is doing the 1990s. It'll be a really awesome collaboration. I'm excited to see everybody else's videos. Let's get started on what it's like to be a 1980s housewife. I'm starting off my morning with a cup of coffee before the kids get up. In the 80s, most women had jobs and staying home with the kids wasn't as common. Cheerios! Cereal and milk was the breakfast staple of the 80s. Processed food for all meals was very common. John Lennon has been a big inspiration in our home. We actually named our son Jude after Lennon's song, so I felt it was important to show this moment of 80s history. Now it's time to get dressed. <laughs> this dress that Eden is wearing is actually a dress that my grandma made for me in 1990 or so. It was close enough to this decade and I wanted to include it. It even has rainbow buttons. How classic is that? For Jude's outfit, I pretty much chose a mishmash of colors, and these bright shorts were the best part. It was too cold outside for him to actually wear the shorts, but that's okay. For my outfit, I originally planned on wearing my mom's authentic school shirt from the 80s but I didn't think it represented the era well enough. So I cut a white shirt I own, I paired it with a tank top, crazy leggings, and neon leg warmers, of course. Beat it! Just beat it! You know what they say, the bigger the hair, the thinner you look. <laughs> For some reason, hair was the most challenging part of getting ready. <laughs> I wish I had a crimper because it definitely would have been more the vibe of what I was going for. I used to crimp my hair all the time. Shout out to those people who have crimped their hair. Before I could even do makeup, it was time for Eden to go to school. Her school hours are very weird and they kind of interfere with the rest of the day. Obviously, my car is nothing like the 80s and neither are their car seats. Thank goodness for that. Car rides consisted of hard, electric rock, and cigarettes. Secondhand smoke wasn't really figured out yet, especially in the early 80s. The early 80s was the time when the most cigarettes were purchased. For lunch, we are eating out at Wendy's. In addition to processed foods becoming more acceptable in the 80s, fast food was just as popular as it is today in 2017. Now that we're back home, I have to complete my look with makeup, of course.
chores in the 80s were scheduled out by the week. In addition to doing regular small chores like dishes and sweeping, each day was designated to one main task, and today it's laundry. In the afternoons while the kids were at school, napping, or at a friend's house, it was common for moms to get together. They would play cards, gossip, and once again, smoke cigarettes. In the 80s, husbands started to become much more involved with picking kids up from school, helping out around the house, etc. David was actually really getting into this video, and I have to share these clips because they're hilarious. Darling, what's for dinner? <laughs> You've had a long day. It's time for the man to sweep away. <laughs> when you grow up, you're going to be big and strong. Drink your milk. It's got calcium. <laughs> David, stop. Thank God for Play-Doh. Always keeps kids entertained. Doesn't even matter what year it is. While I start to make dinner, David watches football. And yes, I did make him watch an 80s football game and I think he liked it. For dinner, we're making good old fashioned sloppy joes. I haven't had one of these since I was a kid, probably. <laughs> After family dinner, the youngest would usually get put down to bed and go to sleep. Plus this is Jude's bedtime anyway, so we'll just pretend this is part of the 80s routine. And uh, the rest of the family would go to the living room and watch a family show together. Now you may be thinking, this is a lot of TV in a day. The average American household watched seven hours of TV per day in the 80s. After dinner, I am reading Eden a story, I'm washing my face, doing little tiny chores here and there. Whatever I need to do to end the day, a mom's job is never done. Am I right? Thanks for watching this video, guys. As you can see, I am back to my normal self now. Uh, but it was a lot of a fun dressing up like I was from the 80s. And it was fun researching it a little bit and just kind of seeing what life was like back then. Uh, it was a real, real big challenge not to go on my cell phone. And I actually broke that many times. <laughs> so it wasn't like, fully in the 80s because uh, they're also like I felt like I had to google things all day like what did they do then what did they what did they listen to what did they watch you know and just to get the news programs on tv I had to youtube those so I'm definitely thankful for modern technology also I want to be able to bring this video to you guys if I lived in the 80s but it was really fun to reenact the 80s for a day hey make sure you guys go over to the other channels and subscribe and watch all of their fun videos this is going to be so cool getting to see all the decades. I'm so excited about it. And if you guys are new here, we would love it if you subscribe and hit the bell next to it so you can get notified every single time we upload a video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, let us know what your favorite thing about the 80s is. We will see you in our next video. Bye.